Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Check out my new website domain, thecombatsystem.com. That's thecombatsystem.com. It'll forward you to MMAforSelfDefense.com. Just for now, in the future, it might be different. Showing you an elbow drill. 22 different angled elbows, a way of drilling that's good for combatives, for MMA, for Muay Thai. Okay, it's going to teach you angled elbows, really applied for the ground. You can practice it on a person, you can practice it on a person with mitts or pads, either holding this way or crossway. There's different ways of holding for this drill. Um, you can practice it slow, which I'm going to show you just to get it down. And on the ground, you can grab a heavy bag and on top of it, work all your different ground positions doing these different kind of elbows. Pull a heavy bag on top of you and guard. Work downward elbows from there like you would in guard. A lot of different angles. I, I beat people up with elbows in the guard, chicken wing elbows from the mount, and inside guard and half guard, uh, horizontal, vertical elbows, all that. Okay, showing the drill, you could start from the plumb, or you could just do it out here for aiming, or you could do it out here with pads. So we'll start in the plumb clinch, okay? A good way of going into this drill with a partner, if you're gonna do this in class, is to practice spearing in as if Big Vladimir here threw an overhand right or hand, I'm going to spear into it. I have videos on the spear, two videos, look at that. I'm going to spear into him like this on the street, it'd be nuts, elbow, elbow, keep going to forward elbows, or if he's falling forward, I would shut him down to the ground. Okay, do a snap. -up. So you're going to spear in and get the palm punch. From there, you're going to go, from there, you're going to go left up the elbow, right up the elbow. Left across, right across. You left diagonal, cut elbow, you're going to hit the temple and drive the elbow tip across, and then reverse elbow. Right diagonal elbow, cut across, reverse elbow. You grab the clock. Then you're going to chicken wing elbow, chicken wing elbow, okay, so that's up and down, or like this, you have more motion bang, it's very strong. Then you go with vertical over the top elbow. You gotta have shoulder rotator cuff flexibility. You're gonna try and cut him straight down here. Okay? Then right over. This is used when a guy has a temple guard, like in Muay Thai, a lot of Muay Thai and a lot of the Dutch kickboxers, Alistair Overing puts the thumbs on the temples, okay, where the devil would have horns. If he's there, it's hard to get in. Use uppercut elbows for that, or use down elbows to cut. I like uppercut down. So it's gonna practice that angle elbow. And in the mouth, this is important. Half mouth is important. Okay, so you're going to go with the down elbows. Then you're going to step back. You're going to do your spinning elbow. You're going to come with the vertical just to throw it. Maybe bash his arm out of the way. Here and then down. The angle is up, down, like a bird throwing a wing. Okay, flapping like a bird. Step, step. I'll show that again. Step, here. Step, step. Next one, you're going to step to the outside. Throw, step. Back, face it. Spinning elbows, you gotta be careful he doesn't get on your back. So if you're used to stepping fast and getting back to position, you're getting back to position out of habit and drill. It's very important. Okay? From there, you're going to grab the neck and do spike elbow. Of course, it's illegal in the UFC. The pride guys used to do downward 12-6 elbows to the body, but this is good for fatness for the street and then spike into the guy's eyeball, eye orbital. Back off, just for self-defense. Look at me now. We're gonna go back up. Back up. When someone's behind you, it's important to not do all those like this at the back. But to practice them twisting, that would help you to throw those Spencer Fisher elbows standing up, clenched against the cage, or on the ground in half guard. Okay, guys, so there, there's reasons for all this stuff. And then at the end is going to be on buck, we brag, old before ancient Muay Thai, before Muay Thai was a sport, a fighting art, that of art. You're going to reach and step if you can. Reach and step. Up and down. Yeah. 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 So you're going to finish with that one. So it's 22 elbows. From outside, let's do that again. Outside, right? Drop a cut elbow. Up a cut elbow. Across. Across, you hit the jaw with that one. Diagonal, depending on the range, you hit the temple or temple and cut in the cross. Reverse. Diagonal, cut, reverse. Look at um, Anderson Silva's knockout in England over Tony Fridley. Okay, from there, you can grab the plug, you can grab the chicken wing elbow. Chicken wing elbow, head up. Bringing his head up, 
Downward elbow. Wham. Cut them all the way down. Downward elbow. Wham. Cut them down. Step, step. Bang, bang. Step out. Boom, boom. Get your view on the pads. Okay? Then spike up. Wham. Spike into his eyeball. Good here, behind you. Behind you for self defense. And then, boom. If he's not, too, not big enough to jump up on, you can just grab and watch. Okay, that would also be a 12-6 elbow, not allowed in MMA. Again, you can do this draw on the back, heavy bag. With partner, I can go fast with focus mitts. And on the ground, this is great to teach you all the elbows in the ground. Maybe I'll show that in another video later on. How to view all these different angled elbows when they come into play. Again, like I said, you might be driving him against here, over here on the back. You might be driving here, and then spin elbow up there. Spencer Fisher, UFC style. Oh, we're in the half guard. So it's going to teach you all these different angles. The living god of Thailand. I started watching this old man in Thailand. One day I went to Fairtex. I didn't know who he was, but I was really paying attention because he was working all these slow angle elbow drills. It wasn't as long as mine, but it was close. And it turns out I didn't realize who he was later on. He worked with me quite a bit while I was there. He was the living god of Thailand, a Muay Thai legend. And then some of this also comes from uh, Master Rafael Cudero, how to step, throw, and do the spinning elbows. You know, he has all his fighters do this kind of stuff, guys. He's a top trainer, the top UFC and MMA stars. So I'm Dan the Wolfman. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash DanTheWolfman1. And, um, Look at my uh, website, thecombatsystem.com and MMAforSelfSuppress.com. Thank you.